What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Cyber Realm. Ah. And welcome to another episode of Adventure Time in Minecraft. So, ah. this episode, we're continuing off where we left off last time on The Legend of the Blue ah. Tide, Episode 1, The Mirefall Flats. Alright, so as you can already tell, my inventory has been cleared a lot more, and I have a lot ah. more emeralds. So, let me explain where I got all of these. So, I definitely did not cheat. If that's what you're wondering. First of all, what I did was I got my pickaxe, right, last episode. And I actually ended up getting myself a shovel um, a little while back. And what I did was I went back to my home island. And I went to, basically went to the dungeon and looked for everything that I could find. Coal, iron, gold, and such and so forth. And I actually dropped everything else back in here. So after I got all that, I came over to this guy who actually traded coal for quite a lot. For iron for quite a lot and gold for quite a lot. So I got all my emeralds just from that. I swear, I promise. That's actually where I got it all from. Now my pickaxe is actually about a breaker, so what I'm gonna do is actually gonna pick up a new one. I don't know if I ever needed it, but I think what they didn't expect was um was for me to actually go back and look for it. Because I actually ended up almost destroying the map there. I actually found a redstone. Um compartment and I didn't really want to touch that so I just left it alone but uh, it doesn't change the fact that I did actually uh, find it um, okay so I, I just found a need for cobwebs smite 2 uh, this is interesting can be placed on stone bricks okay so uh, continuing off this time I think we're gonna focus solely on the story I'm hoping that I'm guessing by putting these two together is not going to work. I mean, I can't put down cobwebs, right? So it's just like, okay, I'll, I'll use this whenever I see cobwebs. But aside from that, I think we're going to actually get to the story today. Uh, I do have some emeralds spread left over, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. So last time we found the gemstone of Mirefall and apparently a book called uh, the Bibliotech, which is probably going to be a big hint as to what we're supposed to do. And we also found the bistro or the um, the cafe. the The manager there has, or I'm assuming that's the manager there. He told me a huge line in Spanish, and I didn't quite get it right away. And what I did was I assumed that it had something to do with the citadel, from a word that was pretty similar. I was being pro a little proactive, and I decided to, you know what, I'm gonna go back, rewind all the video, I'm gonna put all of that speech into Google Translate. And here's what I got. All I know is that Moonbeam wanted to enter the Citadel, but never did. Over time, Myrafall was built to help him with his mission. However, Moonbeam failed once again and was buried down the street. Someone says there is a lever or something next to his grave. So that was the entire thing. However, if we read the Bibliotech, it also mentioned about levers. So there are three in total and I'm supposed to find them. So now that we have a lead or a clue as to where the first lever is, we're gonna go try to find um, his grave. So there is supposed to be a lever that is to be flipped. And I'm just gonna go ahead and guess that. Uh, because back then when, when I found it was basically, this was his house. Um, I did find the... I'm assuming this isn't actually his, his grave, um, but I'm pretty darn close. This was probably his secret base, which was where I found the the gemstone of Mirefall. And that that's what lead me to believe that if I can find his grave, I can find, I can locate the first lever. So something tells me, uh, so, uh, from the manager's speech, he says that he was buried somewhere down the street. I'm actually going to take a, look, take a look at the Citadel for now. This is speech here. Sophia, don't you just look in amazement at Citadel? I mean, just look at what the moonbeam tried to uncover. Only if there were some way which could open these doors. How about redstone? Yeah, I guess. I mean, with a push of a button or a step on the plate, you could open any door. Yeah, I guess I'll just step on these slabs then. The door won't budge. Okay, so I'm guessing that I can't go through. Well, these are stone slabs, right? Can be placed on stone slabs. Okay, so... 
Um, does this say control room? It doesn't, right? Uh, what does that say behind the door? Shards of the fallen. Ah, oh, I can't see it. Ah, oh, it's so hard to see. Okay, let's peek inside. Shards of the fallen, gemstone of Mirefall, witch sprue, and the boot of the Mirefall flats. So these are the four pieces, I think. Let me drop this in here. Okay, so we got one lit up. How do I get out of here? Oh, we're gonna, thank God there's spots. Was I supposed to use this button here anyways? I, I don't even know. Anyways, that, that's about like the best thing I can do. So I said it can't be placed here, so I'm just assuming it can. I'm not gonna waste two buttons in case if I need the other one for something else. Uh, once again, we're back on track trying to find the grave of Moonbeam. Let's see, apparently he has a lever or something. Oh, what's this? Keep this cave sacred, Moonbeam. Huh. Well, it's terracotta, so I can break this, apparently. Let's take a look at what's in here. Alright, we got some more coal, and I don't mind actually taking it, since uh, I could use some more emeralds. I mean, I don't mind. But, yeah, um, I'm looking at this, and I feel like the other lever that it mentions in the book, which is near lava, could be back on my home island. Because, um, keep in mind that when I was at the ship... I could have traveled to another place called the Magic Isles or something. And I think with that, it's the other place that I'm supposed to go to. So aside from the volcano, obviously. So a place where lava flows and some other place that has death involved. I don't want to jump down there. I fear for my life. I could jump down and see what's happening. But I might not want to. I'll, I'll come back to this. Maybe I, maybe I will jump down there. That's interesting. I'm not going to get any more coal because I feel like it's a waste of time. But I will get the iron. It, it's helpful. This is helpful. There we go. Okay. I think it's about to break, actually. Oh, yeah. It broke. Okay. Thank God I bought another one. See? It's great. It's great. Now I'm kind of like half, half destroying this entire map. I think this is meant to be. Uh, nothing here. Oh, whoa. I, I actually didn't mean to find this. I actually just turned around and I saw it here. Interesting. Sealed door. Power elevator. Uh, well, I just locked myself in. <laughs> okay. Power elevator. We. Okay. All right, I, I, I don't know if this is the right spot or not, but I, I'm guessing I'm on the right track. This is uh, getting a little spooky, curious. Uh, which way should I go? I'm going to follow the way with the iron. Because iron is my best friend. At least in here. I hope you guys can see. Let me see if my video settings are turned up. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the brightest. Okay. That's the best I can do. Anything anymore, and I, I won't be able to get them all. Alright. I'm gonna leave the coal alone. I know 10 coals is equivalent to one emerald, but eh. I might do that in my spare time, but right now I just want to get the story going. However, iron is still the best. Oh man, there are, there are so many irons around here. I don't think I'm gonna be in trouble for emeralds anytime soon. Last bit. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ignore. I'm gonna ignore that. Where am I going? Oh, whoa. Okay, some coal. Uh, all right, some leather. Uh, some bone meal. Come on, emeralds and bone meal. Am I supposed to look for a Maybe I'm supposed to look for like a disc to throw in the bed here. I don't know. I'm gonna take a rest. Nice little rest here. I'm gonna go back down the other branch. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so I came across um, this place when I was traveling down the other branch. So it, it was just actually right around here. So the uh, the fork kind of branched off to the right and to the left. I went to the right because there was iron. But apparently there was iron blocks here, which would have been even better. Um, I don't know if I want to jump down right away. But I guess there's really nothing else, not much there. It says return to entrance. So I know that I can right-click this sign and go back all the way. But I think... This is a maze, and I feel like this is going to take a while. 
I'll let you guys know if I find anything interesting so you won't miss anything. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I think I found something interesting here. So after spending nearly a whole minute, no more than a minute, I think I've spent around 10 minutes going running around down here. I think I finally found something that's worthy of my attention. It says insert key on two different chests. However, I have no idea what it means by insert key. So I'm going to do a little more digging around. I'm going to mark this area, probably something that I need to keep in mind. So I'm going to mark this area as to know where its position is. And I don't want to come down all the way again. Um, all right. So with that in mind, I'm going to now look for a couple of things. So number one is to look for key. Oh, sorry, look for the levers. And number two, I'm gonna have to start looking for these keys. This story is now getting more and more elaborate. I'm starting to lose track of where I'm going. But in any case, there's still a couple of nook and crannies around this place that I haven't explored. So I'm gonna go do that real quick and I'll get back to you guys when I find something again. Oh, sorry guys, another thing that, that I just realized that I've been playing this on peaceful the entire time. And I was wondering why I wasn't looking for any mobs. So I'm going to go quickly switch that to the correct difficulty. I actually did not realize this until now, which is weird. Oh, no. Okay. So I think now we're going to be able to see some mobs. We're going we're gonna to see some, seeing some actions. But don't worry, you guys won't miss much. In case if I did get blown up a creeper, I will let you guys know. Alright guys, so after thorough exploration, I think I've come to the conclusion that there isn't anything that's actually here that will give me the key. So as far as everything is concerned, the key isn't located down here. And I finally realized why we need food. Okay. Um That being said, I think I'm gonna head my I'm gonna head out right now. If I can remember which way I came from. I think it's from here. Not entirely sure, but um, mushrooms. Wait, hold on. Maybe I haven't explored everything just yet, because I would have removed every single spider web to through the places that I've already been to. But this place is still new. Maybe I haven't explored everything yet. I thought I I explored everything, but guess not. Hmm. Interesting. That's what I can find here. Uh, more spider webs. Okay. I'm gonna remove those. To it's spider webs are kind of like my indication to see whether or not I've been to that area. Because I actually remove all spider webs to the places I've gone to. Because I need the string, right? Makes sense. Now let's check the bibliotech real quick because it says that one of the places was. There is an old mine built since 10 score where level may lay by the main store. So what I'm thinking is that the uh, the lever is actually behind those iron doors, which I currently can't reach right now, uh, which means I need to find the keys, which could... Oh, wait, does the bubble tech tell me anything about what keys they are? Uh, nope. It doesn't tell me what I'm looking for specifically, so I guess I'm just gonna have to blunder around as I find it. Perfect. Oh, wait. I, wait. Hold on. Is this not behind the door? This looks like it's already behind the iron door, but I might be wrong about it. In any case, I, I'm just mining my way out of here. I, I have no excuse for my actions. I'm sorry. But a man needs his irons. Okay, I've been here, I've been here, I've been here. Alright, looks like I just looped back around. Okay, uh, doesn't seem like there's anything. <gasps> oh, jeez, I thought I was gonna fall down there. Actually, what would I have found down there? I, I don't think there's a way back up, that's the thing. Just a little bit. I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna come back real quick once I explore what's down here. So, we see lava on the other end, which I can't actually get to right now. Oh, whoa. Alright, we're entering some real sketchy place right here. Finally, I can actually see. I want to go to that end, but I don't know how. I can't place blocks, so I can't jump over. Uh, I can't go over them. I will have to 
suck it up and run through the lava, but I'm pretty sure I will die before I actually get there. So, where am I now? Someone explain to me. Oh, I'm here. Okay. It looks like I still haven't finished exploring everything yet, though. Am I right? Caution, cave spiders. No, thank you. This is where I jumped down from. Okay, so let's just quickly return to the surface. Oh, whew. that kind of—I was like, "Whoa, what just happened?" So nothing too extravagant. I—I I didn't find anything too unique or too special down there. And now mobs are spawning. Uh. I have no armor, sir. Joe, calm down. You know, for a bunch of things that I did, this is actually... I didn't expect that much pressure right off the get-go. I'm really gonna throw this in. Let me go to bed real quick. Where's the inn? I need to get to the inn real quick. Real quick like here. Just like, forget everything. I'm not in the mood to go... Uh, I, th uh, I thought a villager just died there, but I think it's uh, everything is already okay. I'm just gonna... Can you not? Can you not? Can you? Thank you. I hear zombies on the upper floor? Really? Come on. How is that even possible? Oh, wait. I think they're above. But that means I can't sleep. Was I supposed to be playing on peaceful? No, it says locked on easy and normal. So I can't even sleep. Oh come on, man! All right, fine. I guess I'm going outside for uh, a slaughter. Excuse me, guys. Fair enough. Don't don't let me sleep then. Be that way. Come on. Sun's coming up. What are you gonna do? Huh? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Sit down. Sit down, little guy. You're no match for me and my toy sword. I haven't used a toy sword actually. Mostly because it's it's a toy sword. Oh, whoa. Snipe down? Sure, I'm down for it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, you want a mask? Did you know the sun's coming up? Hey, did you know the sun is coming up? Exactly. Sit down. Yeah, that seems legit. Very good. Oh, I see the zombie. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Toy sword. <laughs> oh yeah, it's got smite, right? It's got no, it's got sharpness. Okay. Well, seeing as how we made some progress and not too much, made some discoveries, but haven't actually made any advancements in the storyline, <laughs> we still need to look for the keys and the levers. That still is a big problem. Um, but yeah, I'll get back to you guys in the next episode. Hopefully, I've made some advancement on my own time, and so we don't waste too much of your time. Until then, see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to leave a like and tell me what you think. With that, I bid you all a farewell. Peace!